Here we have a, a three-way switch. And we're testing for power. Guess what? There is none. Of course, we know that's not true. Now we have power. Now we know. Now, we need to find which one of these is the common. Which one's always powered up to put our new switch in? Because our new switch has a common terminal. Right here. But, this isn't powered all the time. So we have no idea. So what I'm going to do is pull the switch out. The moment we got to pull this out, we take these screws out all the way. Now I'm going to guess on this switch. Somewhere along the line, they might be switching a, a white wiring or somewhere. Okay. We'll bend these wires down. So we can slide or switch out. Okay, and our switch comes right out. And we have three wires in there. And we're going to need to hook those onto the new switch. We're going to find the common terminal on a three-way switch with these push-button switches, which are usually used with NOM and 2 or VX wire. And you can never tell what wire is what. And these are two two switches that do the same job but a quick way to know which wire is your common is to first of all pull your switch out but know the orientation of your wires don't ever pull it on and flip it around pull it out and turn it turn it around here you can see your connection is on this side and your switch is on this side because there is a piece of brass that goes through here and carries the electricity so this wire is wired this switch is in the wall and we know this side there's always a connection between these two so usually one wire is hooked up to here or here. That is your common wire, wherever it was hooked. This side is your switch side. So between this wire and here, there's nothing. Here you have power or a path. When you do your push button here, it switches to this side and nothing down here. So these two wires are your switch wires. It, the button switches in between them. Now if your one wire was hooked down here, it's the same thing. So your switch wire is on this side and your common wire would be one of these two on this side. So, you can't just guess, oh, there's only one wire hooked up top here, and one wire here, and one wire down here. Um, you can't, you don't know which one's the common. So, 
by testing this, you know that this one and this one are connected, and these two are your switch wires. So, power originates either in one of these two, starts here, goes up to here, and over to this side. When you switch it the other way, power goes over to here. Alright? So if your wire is hooked to here, power goes from here to here. When you switch it, power goes up here and across. That's the path, up and across. When you switch it this way, it just goes across. Now, let's look at another three-way switch that is different. On this one, your common terminals are up top. And your switch terminals are down below. Different from this one. These ones are on the side. Your commons are on the side. The commons are on the top on this one. So, here we'll have power on both of these. There's a path from here to here. And they will always, no matter where you switch it, there'll always be a, a path there. So, you can see now power goes down here. When you switch it, power goes over here and down here. There's your switch action. So, if the wire was connected here, that's your common. If your wire was connected over here, that's your common. And these two bottom ones are your switch wires. But it's very important to know how you took this switch out of the wall and where the wire was connected on the common on here. So when you finger it out, you know where the common is on your new switch. But you can test it with a gauge or just look on the back and see where they're crossed over on the top. So wherever your one wire is connected on the top, that's the common. On this one, whenever wire is connected to the side, over here, that's your common. These two wires are your switch wires. So, and there you have it. So if you had, a lot of times when you look at a switch, you say, oh, this wire is by itself, so that's the common wire. Or, this wire is by itself, that's the common wire. That's not true. On this one, that'll, that'll confuse you and that'll get you in trouble. So, if you think this is by itself, and it's common wire, Because it's by itself, it's not. And you have one hooked up here and here. So you actually have a common hooked here, and a switch here, and a switch here. So, you won't know that this one is not a common wire. You'll think this is a switch. And your common wire is going to be on this side. And this will be one of your switches. And this will be one of your switches. So. And this wire will be sitting alone. And you'll think because it's by itself. It's a common wire. Because normally that's how it is. But on this switch. You'll make a mistake. So. I'm going to tell you again. The best way. Turn it around. Whichever one's connected is your common. So one of these is your common, whichever one the wire's hooked to. These ones are your switch wires. So you probably have a wire hooked here and a wire hooked here. And one on one of these two. Common, switch. Common wires on top. You'll have one hooked here. You'll have a switch down here and a switch down here. Or you have a common here, 
a switch here and a switch here. Either way. But your common will be on top. Okay, we're back at the box. We tested our switch. And we know that this top one is our common. And these two are our switch words. So we're going to go ahead and hook those up. Now, we have two of these to replace. We're only going to change one at a time, just to make sure we don't mess up. Of course, our power is off. I like to shut the entire building off when you're working on any kind of wiring, especially old wiring. But sometimes, even when you turn the power off, there's some mapping in some of the old wires. This one's giving me a little bit of a problem here. Okay, I'm going to have to work on that one a little bit. And I'm going to hook the top one in to the top screw. Then we're going to check it. Alright, here's our switch. And it works just fine. And you're going to have to trust me on that. Because the light is downstairs. 